Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, let's do some experimenting today. I just so happened to get an EcoFlow Pro in the mail today. Now, it says on the bottom here that it has 720 watt hours of juice and that its AC outlets can provide 600 continuous watts and 1200 peak. Now, what am I gonna do with that power? Of course, everybody that has an EV is going to try to charge their EV for no reason. That is not what this is for, but you know what? It's sitting here in my driveway. Let's see what happens, if it even can do it. Because in the Mach E, there is no way to control the amperage like the Tesla. When you plug in a charger into the Tesla on AC, you can pretty much control any amp you want. You can set it to pull five amps if you want. Well, here in the Ford, I don't have an option on what it pulls. And just plugging it in is going to pull probably more than 1,200 watts and will probably max this thing out and it will overheat or overload. But let's just see what happens just for fun. Why not? So let's give this a try here. Now this thing really isn't that big. You can see it here sitting in the, the trunk area next to the subwoofer. Here, let me remove the wide angle lens. There you go. That's what it looks like, EcoFlow Pro. Press this little thing here to turn it on and you can see your screen. It says I have 99 hours remaining. Of course, there's nothing plugged into it right now. You can see there, zero input and zero output. We got the factory Ford out. So let's go ahead and get this out and get the correct cord on it to plug into the 120 volt outlet on this EcoFlow Pro. Okay, so I got everything set up. I had to bend the cord a little bit just to make it go the right direction that I wanted everything to go. Okay, on. And then you gotta go over here and turn on that outlet. Okay. That's probably some kind of warning saying something. I'm gonna go ahead and look up what yellow light means and I will put it here at the bottom of the screen. Now, that just being turned on says it's using two watts. So, I know that's not green, but we're going to go ahead and try to plug it in anyway and see what happens. It may be telling me it's not going to work. Like, you stupid idiot, this isn't going to work. Why are you even trying? Okay. So, here we go. Got the nice little Ford logo, and we're plugging it in. Now, let's run back here and see nothing is happening. <laughs> Absolutely nothing is happening. If you can see here, there's three prong, there's a three prong outlet. But that bottom plug is a dummy. There's no grounding. So what I did was I just ran me some wire from the ground back to a stake that's in the ground back here and yes this is uh very temporary so don't give me a hard time on how good it looks but i now have the all important green light or blue light you turn that on you can see it booting up here and i have a blue light now so I think that means it's gonna work. Okay, so here we go. We got the regular Ford plug here. The Ford adapter is ready. The EcoFlow is ready. Let's plug this in and see what happens. All right, so the sun is in the perfect spot to make this harsh stand right there. I plug this in, it is thinking about charging. It is charging. Wow, 
we are only charging at 24 watts 42 here we go it's ramping up all right it's over the max uh-oh wasn't happy about that there's no way to control the output of this so it's asking for too many amps is the problem this uh this unit is good for 600 continuous and 1200 peak but it also said something about 1800 peak so that was kind of confusing so evidently the peak is 1800 and 600 continuous not sure confusing uh, specifications but we obviously just overloaded it let's uh let's try again do or do not there is no try hey guys you join me in my studio one last time because i got a comment from somebody on my last youtube video that said hey you don't even need you can see this is running right now with a blue good green light you don't even need to connect that to the ground stake just connect it to the uh, ground on this panel back here and then do that to the adapter there and that's all you need to do so I did that and now it powers up but that still doesn't solve the problem that it would overload the unit before my car would charge I did find one more setting in the app it's called X-Boost. I'm not exactly sure how X-Boost works, but it lowers the power. So something that could take 1200 watts, it will lower it to 600 running watts somehow. I don't know if it messes with the voltage or if it messes with the amperage. I don't know how it works, but now that I've enabled that setting, we're gonna go try one more time to see if this can work. So here we are at my car. I'm gonna try to do this as quick as I can because it's 110 out here and things are gonna quickly overheat. So let's go ahead and try this. First of all, we need to power up this plug here. And I'm sure you can't see it on the camera. The light is blue. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. X boost is active as far as I know. Twenty four. So it hasn't overloaded yet. It's trying to adjust things automatically. To keep the max power low you can see it goes up to 600 and the system in here cuts it back so it doesn't overload and it's just going up and down on the power right now don't know how good that's charging but it's keeping it from overloading and this is working the car does say it's charging. Let me get a screen record from uh, the app and the phone. I'm going to not do this right now since it's a hundred and hellfire right now. We are going to wait until evening and I'm going to plug this in and see how many miles of charge I can get out of it six and a half hours later all right it's a few hours later now it's a lot cooler probably 95 degrees instead of 110 I got the whole setup out here ready to go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the GoPro here filming the screen for the whole charge before I start this let's hop in and look at what miles we are at here Okay, the car is at 86% and 165 miles. 
Now, we're not gonna be able to charge it, but a few miles worth of charge. But it's gonna be a neat experiment just to see what happens. Third time's the charm. So let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. Start the GoPro. Oh, I gotta turn on the, uh, <laughs> gotta turn it on. What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! Got to turn it on. Where's the button? There it is. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Okay. It is charging. Let's go down here and look at the screen. It's doing the weird bouncy thing, but that's okay. It is not overloading is the main point. Let's go ahead and check the time. It is 8.58 p.m. Let's go ahead and leave it alone for a while and see how much it will charge my car. Now from the comfort of my living room, I can sit here and watch my car trying to get charged. Now the X boost over here, you can see where it says X boost, is doing what it's supposed to do. It limits the voltage. So when it sees something is gonna ask for more than 600 watts, it lowers the voltage down. All right, so here we are at the end. It is 2%. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug now because I don't wanna run the battery all the way down to zero. And then let's go in the car and see how much we gained. So here we go, unplugging. Close that battery door. And I don't have my key. We have to enter the code. All right, code entered. Here is the final result. Y'all ready for this? Oh, hell. Y'all ready for this? 86% and 164 miles. I had to pause the video and look because I'm like, wait, that's one less mile than what I started with. So, <laughs> guys, I don't know. We lost a mile. We did two hours of charging on that battery box and somehow I lost a mile. <laughs> oh, man, so... I don't know where we're at in this test now. So, did I get any power or not? Okay, here's my theory. It used more cooling, so it knows it's charging, but it barely has enough juice to charge at all. But it's using battery cooling or fans or something, or the charger running, I don't know. But somehow, charging this vehicle, I ended up using more electricity than what the box gave me. I don't know. I don't even, I, I don't know. Where did my extra mile go? It should have added a mile or two to the range. Science says I'm adding 720 watt hours to the battery I should get at least a mile, but no, we lost a mile. <laughs> I don't know what this means. Did we charge the car or not? I don't know. But I'm gonna have to go ahead and end this episode with more asterisks, you know? I thought it was gonna work. Third time's the charm. I thought I figured it out, but now, I don't know. That's where we're at. 
I'm just going to have to leave it a question mark. Thanks for watching this episode. I will see y'all later. What did you even do? The battery power went somewhere. Where'd the battery power go, duck?